Well, Sifu is a stylish kung fu action game from developer Slow Clap. This one reminds me of my Double Dragon days, but instead of side-scrolling, this one is full 3D, and it has all the bells and whistles of a next-generation game. It's also really tough, but it's got deep fighting mechanics. Sifu is fairly straightforward in terms of the backstory for the game. You know, bad guys have killed your family during your childhood and left you for dead. We then cut to about 10 years later, where we're 20 years old, and we embark on a journey of revenge by killing a series of bosses. That all sounds pretty straightforward, but it's anything but that. And it's very likely you're going to be going through the levels over and over again, as Sifu uses repetition as a tool to teach, so you're going to be getting to know the levels very, very well indeed. Well, the story itself is well presented, although not very deep. It's often fairly shallow, but I did like the presentation and the style. You've also got room for expansion later on. If Sifu itself isn't a large game, so you've got five bosses with areas leading up to each boss, in theory, you could run through the whole game in a few hours. There's just the tricky matter of fighting your way through levels of enemies with your fists and your feet, wielding bats and also pipes. You know, Sifu is a kung fu fighting game at the very core, it's got some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat I've seen in a game. You've got the basic attacks like punches, kicks and sweeps. There's also combos and also much deeper attacks and defences. And when you first load in, there's a decent tutorial. You can always train with some AI in the starting area before you head out into a battle. Well, the age mechanic in Sifu is very, very interesting. So when you die, and most likely this is going to happen a lot, you age by at least one year. You have a magic pendant which brings you back to life right after you die, but at the cost of years being added to your age. Well, the more you die, the more years you get added to your death counter, and that means dying repeatedly over and over again in the same place is a quick way to old age. So once you get too old, you'll die, and then you have to try again. The objective of the game is to get through all the levels and the five bosses without dying of old age. As you make your way through the levels, you can lower your death count by killing certain enemies, but the overall objective remains the same. Just simply stay alive. Well, the only way to get through the game is by practice and repetition. You really just have to get good. You can unlock various shortcuts in the game, although the shortcut in the second level is fairly comical, as it isn't really much of a shortcut at all. And the game wants you to take on enemies head first, learn the attacks, the defense, and evasive maneuvers, and work your way through all the levels. So once you reach the end of a level, you've got a new death counter, and then you can move on. So the first time I got through the initial level, I was around the mid-50s, meaning I wasn't going to last long going forward. Therefore, you go back to that first level and do your best to get through to come out on the other side as young as you possibly can. You know, at first, it seems impossible, but keep plugging away and the game starts to click as you find your flow. For all the frustration that can come with fighting and dying over and over again, Sifu is actually an exciting game with some of the most fluid mechanics I've encountered in a fighting game for years. On the surface, this is a 3D brawler, but the intricacies of the mechanics are more akin to a fighting game like Street Fighter V. You know, Sifu compels you to come back time and time again to take down the enemy who stood in your way. You know, at first they were as hard as nails, but eventually you're going to be disposing of them in seconds. The key to this are the upgrades that can be unlocked. As you make your way through levels, the various power-ups can be opened up through collecting XP, and unlocking these upgrades five times means you get them permanently. Plus, they really, really make a difference. For example, Environmental Mastery is one that you want to pick up early, so you can pick up weapons, bats and pipes, and they really, really help you out in battle. But when you unlock the environmental mastery, many more options around you open up. So you've got stools you can kick into opponents, making it much easier to take down that big lump in front of you with their fists raised. While Sifu is set in full 3D and the environments look gorgeous, the game really reminds me of simpler times like running through Double Dragon. The difficulty of these classic titles is there for sure, and also learn the attack patterns of the enemies along the way. The main objective of each level is to beat everyone down on your path and get to the boss fights, so these are really good set pieces, don't get me wrong. There's also great satisfaction in taking down eight guys in a room with nothing but your feet and your fists. You know, attack combinations are useful, and you're going to unlock more of these over time. So you've got these various evasive attacks where you can lean out of the way with precision, and that means your brain gets hardwired into the patterns of the attacks coming your way. It comes down to reflexes and reaction, plus being able to put it all together in a near-flawless run of timing and skill. This is probably where many will put the game down, as it isn't going to be for everyone, but I would persevere with it because the rewards are absolutely great. Sifu has another mechanic called Structure that is similar to Sekiro, where you've got to break your opponent's stance. 
So it is a kind of stamina meter and it gets replenished after successfully evading attacks. So if you keep mashing the block button then eventually you're going to be broken down and lose your structure but successfully dodge and leave your opponent swinging air shots then you will always have more energy to fight. So much like other features in the game it's a good system other the game doesn't really do a good job of explaining this to you. There are a quick few tutorials in the first level but these go by fairly quickly and it is kind of a blink and you'll miss it scenario. However, saying all of that, you know, when it comes together and it flows, Sifu's combat is a thing of beauty. You know, the first level acts as a great training ground for what's to come later, and then things really ramp up in the second level in the club. So there's moments of pure frustration where you go through levels near perfectly, then all of a sudden a few tough enemies will add decades to your age, and the run is all but over. But once it clicks, you'll end up taking down that room full of enemies, not only effectively, but in a stylish manner too, and you know you are there with Sifu. Unfortunately, the story doesn't match the combat as the game opens up in a brilliant way. The bad guy kills your family. And it's a very effective opening. It really makes you sit up and pay attention. However, from there, it's a fairly standard revenge story. There's also plenty of callbacks to Kung Fu movies, which I did really appreciate. But the story isn't the main event in Sifu. That is reserved for the combat. Sifu is a great game that's going to punish, frustrate, and delight you in equal measures. You know, I'd say if you're a fan of fighting games, all the genre, all kung fu movies, then this is probably the game for you. But if you don't have much patience, or you just want to casually play Sifu, then it may not be the game that you're looking for, as making meaningful progress in the game takes practice, time, and also mastery. For me, this is one of the best games that I've played in 2022 so far, so I'm really looking forward to going back in and finding all the secrets that Sifu has to offer. Well, the game was developed and published by Slow Clap. It's available on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and also PC, and I reviewed the game on PlayStation 5. And the game originally came out on the 8th of February 2022. Well, that is it for my review of Sifu. Really, really good game. Really tough. A little bit frustrating at points, but ultimately really, really satisfying. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, like it, sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, Check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Station.